guys, welcome back to my channel. This week's video is going to be about what is in my beak bag. So I'm super excited about this because it's definitely different from what I carry in my normal purse. I will link the video that I did for what's in my purse video and I'll link that down below if you guys want to see that. So if you guys want to see what I keep in my personal beach bag, then just keep on watching. Alright, so this is not going to be in any particular order. I'm just going to start grabbing things out of my bag. So first off, let's start with the actual bag. This is a bag that I got from Kiko Milano. It says Miami Beach Babe. And I got this bag from the store. I believe if you spent a certain amount of money, they gave you this bag for free. And what I love about Kiko Milano is that it's almost like a step above the drugstore in price and I don't want to say quality but it's like it's not Sephora prices but it's not drugstore prices it's right in the middle so um, you really don't have to spend a lot of money there I think it was like $35 or something like that to get this bag so I got this one my mom went the same day so she also got this color which I don't know if they have these anymore for the summertime I got these last summer but they're so cute and I like that they're see-through because I could just go right in. I know exactly what I'm looking for and where it's going to be so I'm not going to have to like search through my whole bag. A lot of people don't like their beach bags um, or their purses or anything to be clear because I think it, I don't know, sometimes it makes me feel that other people are looking at my bag to see what I have to take it and I don't know if that's like overkill but I'm always super careful about that stuff so the main reason why I love these bags is because they're waterproof. I can spill water all over this or one of these lotions can burst inside and it's not going to um, get outside of the bag and I really like that um, especially if I'm going to be around sand and things like that it's not going to get into my bag. So that's why I love these bags but if you don't like the fact that they're clear sometimes I will take another bag that's similar in shape like this one. This is from Victoria's Secret. Um, I don't know if you can outright go get this, but I love it because it's all sparkly, but somebody actually gave this to me. Um, but I'll take a bag that's similar in shape, and I will just take this bag and I'll put it inside of this one. So I get the waterproof um, part that I need, and I also get the privacy that I'm looking for, if you will. So um, that's an idea that you guys can definitely do if you're not into the clear bags, but you want that waterproof kind of element. So let's dive in. Number one most important thing is a small little wristlet. I've carried one that's smaller than this. The only thing that I have in this wristlet is my ID, my credit card in case I need extra money, um, and cash. Um, I don't usually carry a lot of cash when I go to the beach because I'm not really spending a lot of money when I go there. It's probably like 40 bucks at the most and that's it, but I keep all of that in my wristlet just so that it's secure, it's not floating around the bag, and I know exactly where it is. The next thing that I carry, oh my gosh, if I could take it out. The next thing is my sunglasses case. This is from Betsy Johnson. I actually got this from Burlington for like four bucks or whatever it was. It's some crazy price, but I love it because super roomy for big glasses or you could put small glasses but I always take a case with me just in case I want to get rid of these sunglasses maybe I want to jump into a pool if I'm going into the pool I'm never going into the ocean if you guys know me Samantha does not go in the ocean there are sharks in there next the next is simple a bottle of water um, you need to stay hydrated when you go to the beach so I usually make sure that I down one of these before I leave the house and then I take one or two more with me when I leave I probably should take more than that but if I get thirsty when I'm at the beach I could just buy some when I'm over there so I just make sure that I have some water on hand the next thing is a snack um, most of the time I normally take like a protein bar or something that's already in case because it's easy to just throw it in my bag. I don't have to worry about it leaking everywhere. Um, this is another thing. This is like a dry food. It's just some pretzels in a Ziploc bag. I love this because um, if I go to the beach, I normally go to the beach for maybe two, three hours tops. I used to love to go all day long. 
but my body has just not really been able to handle it lately so um, if I'm only gonna be going for two or three hours I'm not gonna need like a whole meal and a cooler like I'm not gonna need all that I just need like a couple of snacks to get me through and then when I leave the beach I can stop by like Dunkin Donuts or Subway or you know wherever I need to go to pick up like some food so I try to travel light all right, the next thing that I have in here is sunscreen. So I normally use a sunscreen from CVS, and it's in a spray form. Um, I usually get the SPF 50. I don't have that with me because I actually finished it. If I don't have the spray version, I just find the spray version to be easiest to apply. Um, I just use kind of whatever's in my house make sure it's not expired because that happened to me once and it does not work. Um, but this one is not expired. It expires next year. Um, this one is from Walgreens, and it just says lotion, sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 50. It is water resistant, and it protects you against UVA and UVB rays. So I like this because um, it is SPF 50, and like I said before, my skin in general is just sensitive, and I don't do well in the sun, so if I'm going to be out there for a couple of hours, even if it's just two or three hours, I'm going to need a high SPF. So anything after 50 is pretty high. SPF 50 is pretty good. I never get burnt. I do reapply like a mad woman. I'm literally reapplying like every hour to make sure that I don't get burnt, and ever since I started doing that, I've never had another issue. Um, it happens to me all the time that I'm at the beach and I think I'm okay and I'm sitting in the sun and then the next thing I know I'm burnt to all hell and I don't know why. So reapply your sun lotion like literally every hour. It says every two but do it every hour especially if you have sensitive skin. Going along with the body SPF, I have SPF for my face. So the reason why I have a separate SPF for my face and my body is because um, my face has different skin than the rest of my body. It's extra sensitive, it gets clogged very easily, and I am acne prone. So I do watch what I put on my face versus my body. So this is one that I've been using the longest. This is also from Walgreens. This is called the Dry Touch Sunscreen Sheer Broad SPF 55. It is water resistant for 80 minutes. It protects you against UVA and UVB rays oil free lightweight lotion dermatologist tested so this is not supposed to clog your pores it never clogs mine I've never had an issue with that um, and I love it because when it goes on you're not sitting there rubbing for such a long time to get the white to go away on your face um, this is pretty sheer so it goes on and it blends in pretty quickly so I really like this one and this is one that I've been trying this year and it's the Aveeno Smart Essentials Daily Nourishing Moisturizer with SPF 30 it also has vitamins. Um, this one has a higher SPF. Um, I would recommend using this one more on like a daily basis as a moisturizer. And this one is a little bit more heavier. So um, I like to use this when I know I'm going to be out in the sun a lot longer. So these are two that I do use for my face. So if I don't have this one, I'll grab for this one and vice versa. All right, the next thing that I also like to take with me are facial sprays. And again, I have double because I'm usually like, I'm running low on one. So if I know that's happening, I'll double up and I'll put like a full product in the bag with that. So I'm not going to run out. So this, as you could tell, my Mario Badescu facial spray, this is the rose water facial spray. It's like gone. Like I'm trying to hold on to it. It's, it's gone. But... Um, I love that spray. It smells so good, so fresh, and it just gives you a burst of freshness on your face. And taking that to the beach is amazing because, especially when it's really hot and you just like feel your body and it's just really overheating, that really helps me. And if I don't have that, I just use one of the Evian sprays. This is pretty good. This is also not this type of a spray. It does spray differently. This one you actually have to sit there and pump versus this one is just like a constant spray once you start. So this one does apply a little bit easier. I probably would recommend bringing this one over the Mario Badesco one to the beach just because it's easier, it's faster, um, and I don't know. I like them. I like them both. You take whatever one to the beach you want to take. I also like to take some deodorant. So um, as you guys know, I've been trying to find a deodorant that's really going to work for me. Um, I tried wearing organic deodorant, which my sister would make me, and that used to work for a while, and now it's kind of stopping, so now I'm switching back 
to my regular stuff. This is the Arid Extra Dry um, in the scent cool shower it's a clear gel um, I really like this I feel like it's been working for me ever since I started using it again and I love it because it smells like you literally just jumped out of a water shower and you just smell good I like using this in combination with this um, I always take some sort of wipes with me to the beach um, these are the summer's eve sheer floral cleansing cloths for sensitive skin I just really like these wipes because when you're at the beach you're sweating and sometimes you just want to freshen up if you're gonna go somewhere right after the beach or just before you go home for me for instance I live about an hour from the beach so that's a long drive to sit in my sweat I don't want to do that I like to take one or two of these with me just to like go underneath my arms in my girly parts just like everywhere you want to freshen up and then I'll go over with some deodorant um so yeah I love taking those two things with me it always makes me feel just clean fresh smelling good and yeah I love those two things the next thing that I don't need at the beach but I take with me just because I want to um is some mattifying powder and something to put it on so normally I'll just take a powder puff but I couldn't find my powder puff I don't know what happened to it this is another brush that I would take in place of that because it is a um, flat kabuki brush and since it's dense just like a powder puff would be um, it really gives you like a lot more mattifying coverage and it lasts longer so this mattifying powder is just it's from Hard Candy and you guys can see it's like tore up this thing goes everywhere with me um, this is from Hard Candy it's called Fast and Fabulous Translucent Finishing Powder so it's just a white powder, but when you put it on your fingers, it's just a translucent powder. You don't get any color from it. It's just a mattifying powder, so I really love that. I normally don't wear a lot of makeup if I'm going to the beach. I'll probably just put a tiny bit of concealer here um, underneath my eyes, a little around my nose just to get rid of the, a little bit of the redness, and just some powder, mascara, and I'm good to go. That might be a lot for some people, but it's not for me. If you guys want to see a look on just like beach makeup, let me know down below. I will do that. Another thing that I will take with me is a lip gloss. This is a Bonnie Bell Lip Lights lip gloss in the color... I'm pretty sure this is Strawberry Parfait. It doesn't say on the bottle. That's weird. It says strawberry on the bottom, but I know this is Strawberry Parfait because I looked when I bought it. But um, this I love because it's such like a sheer but with a little bit of color, perfect for the beach, and it smells amazing, it smells like strawberries. And I love this lip gloss. If you haven't tried this lip gloss, it's super affordable. It's under $5, and I picked mine up from Harman's. Um, I'm pretty sure you can also get this at Walmart. I heard that it is sold at Walmart, but every time I go to look for it, it's never there. But um, it's definitely at Harman's, that's where I picked mine up. And I love it because it's not sticky. I hate sticky glosses. This is perfect to just throw on your lips. And it just like, it just makes my lips feel nice. It gives me a little bit of color and it's beach appropriate. I also like to take something to protect my lips if I'm not going to be using a gloss or I'll just use it underneath the gloss. And it's just a chapstick with SPF. This is one from the ELO chapstick brand that I made an entire video about, so if you don't know anything about this line of chapstick, I will link that video down below for you guys. This is in the shade Rose. Um, I've been obsessed with this one lately. It just has a very um, sheer look to it and a slightly pink color, so I really love it. And yeah, so this is really good. It has SPF. 15 so I really like this okay last three things I always take an extra hair tie because when I go to the beach my hair is usually down or I don't know like in a ponytail or whatever but I always take an extra one of these just in case I might need it or if somebody else I'm with needs it you never know I always also like to take a bag of quarters I know that's like really random but for me, I always like to use the quarters for parking if I need to pay that way. Your girl truly loves to go to the arcade. I know, that's like a guilty pleasure of mine. I love going to the arcade. So I always love to take my bag of quarters. This is actually getting really low. I went to Point Pleasant not too long ago. I think I mentioned that in a previous video. And so, um, yeah, by the way, the puff balls that I was getting from the arcade game, okay, if you guys missed that last video, I was talking about when I went to Point Pleasant, there's usually nothing in the arcades that 
anybody really wants, not when you're older anyway. So um, I finally found something that I wanted and it was a puff ball that like hangs onto your purse. And I found something way better than that at Burlington. I went into Burlington and I found the puff balls like just being sold randomly um, for your purses. So I was like, oh, that's awesome. I could just come in here and just buy whatever I want. But they upped the ante. I found puff balls that actually have a charger inside and it charges your phone. And it has an adapter for iPhone and for Androids. Are you kidding me? So I definitely bought one for my cousin. I didn't want to buy one for myself as well. I know I should have, but I just told myself to skip it, but I knew I had to tell you guys about that. And I think I took a picture. So I will insert that picture like somewhere. Um, so yes, definitely check that out. And the very last thing before I get sidetracked is a mirror. I always take a mirror to the beach. This one is from Sephora. I got it along with a gift card somebody gave me and you can hardly see the Sephora logo on it anymore. But I love this mirror because it gives you, oh, you see all my stuff in the back. It gives you one side that's magnified and one side that's like a normal mirror. And I like this because every time I go to the beach, I don't know if I'm the only one, I always get sand in my eye. Always. Or a hair or something and I never know what it is. So I always take a mirror just in case something gets in my eye or if like lotion starts running and my eyes start burning and I need to like wipe it away or whatever it is or if I want to put some gloss on, then I'll be good to go. And that's it guys, my bag's totally empty. If you guys like this type of video, let me know. I'll do more stuff like this for you guys. And that's everything that I carry in my beach bag. Let me know down below what you guys carry so that I can get some new ideas. Um, and yeah guys, so thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Love you. Bye. Hello. Don't you hate that you do your makeup and then you put sunglasses on and then it just ruins everything right here. So it, it is. It, 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 this is one from the emo. Oh my god, really? Let me close my door because my dad just got it. That almost just fell. Let me make sure I'm pushing this stuff out of the way. I never know what the heck it is. And it is a SPF. Uh, what is this? I will take a... Oh my god. And I don't think that I saved it now that I think about it. For my empties video. Oh well. Here. Oh my gosh, really? I have SPF. Let me turn this around. Um, yeah. What else am I trying to talk about? When you're not sitting here for a long time, um, like moisturizing the moisturizing what i always take some sort of wipes with me like what